Remember, there, there are multiple ways to, to do this first one. I'm going to do the box method. I'm just going to set it up for anybody who's stuck, and I'm going to set that one up, and then I'll give you more time. So this is two terms, and this is three. So I would go one, two, one, two, three, make my box. And I put the two terms out here, and then the three here. Fill in all my boxes, and then I'll give you my answer. Over here, I'm dividing, so I make an upside down L. 3x to the third plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 5. I didn't need a zero because I went 3, 2, 1, nothing. Right? If it went like 3 to 1 and there was no x squared, I would put a 0x squared in there. Right? On the outside, I have x minus 1. Go from there. Okay? Give you more time. All right, so we're going to start. Okay. So I'm going to, we have about 10 minutes. So I'm going to get through this piece and then I'm going to teach you the new thing and you're going to be like, sweet, that's what I'm going to use. Okay? <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> here we go. We do every box, right? So this x times 4x squared, 4x to the third. x times minus 6 is x is negative 6x squared. x times minus 4 is minus 4x. 4x squared times 10, 40x squared. This is minus 60x. <clears throat> this is minus 40. Remember that when you do this, you get these nice like terms. These ones stand alone. So I get 4x to the third plus 34x squared minus 64x minus 40. Now, the new thing that you can do is you can then take this, divide it by this, and you should get that when you check your work. Good. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show you that because I'm about to show you an example here. Here, well, what do we do? We focus on this first piece. And I focus on this first piece. X times what is 3x to the third? 3x squared, right? 3x squared times x minus 1, 3x to the third minus 3x squared. And this is where I think I saw some mistakes. I'm subtracting this whole thing. When I do that, it makes that negative. It makes this positive, right? So this cancels, and I get 8x squared here. And then I bring down the next piece, minus 3x. x goes, x times what is 8x squared? 8x. And I repeat the process. 8x times x minus 1 is 8x squared minus 8x. Subtract. This cancels. This becomes positive, and I get 5x. Bring down the minus 5 x times what is 5x? 5. 5 times x minus 1 is 5x minus 5, which is good news. Because now, when I subtract and I flip those signs, I get a 0. So this is my answer, and I have no remainder. That's a factor. I could check my work by multiplying that by that, and I should get that. Okay. Long division. Long, that's how it goes. Okay. Got to move on, though. We only have eight minutes. Okay. So we got to talk about roots and factors. Roots and factors. So if I was turning this into intercept form, I would say f of x, I would do the magic x, and I would get f of x equals x plus 3, x plus 2. Right? I'm skipping the magic x because we've seen it a bunch. Right? This becomes this. We call this intercept form. We also call it factored form. Why? Because these are factors. What are factors? Factors are things you can multiply to get back to the first thing. Right? This times this is that. 
Okay? That's a factor. Now, if I said find the roots, you would set it equal to 0, x plus 3, x plus 2. And then you would say, oh, my roots are x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 2. These are roots. This is nothing new, right? But we have to know the difference. Factor, root. Factor, root. Root, factor. Do you know the difference? Question. Would it be a safe rule to just flip the sign of the factor to get the root? Yes, unless you have a number in front of the x. Yeah. OK, so if my root is negative 2, what's the factor that must have went with that? Not just 2 x plus 2. If my factor is x minus 9, what's the root that must have went with that? Nope, just plus 9. Fact, a root is a number, a factor has an x in it. Okay, now, why am I making this distinction? I know I'm going a little fast here. Long division, we're not going to do it again. I was going to do a whole another example and show you that it works with the other, but we're just going to talk about it. Ready? Long division, you divide by what? What do we divide by in long division? The factor or the root? The factor. The factor. So what do you think you're going to divide by with synthetic division? The root. The root. And this is where a lot of students make mistakes. They use the wrong number. They do all the right math. But they don't divide by the right number, and they get the wrong answer. I don't know where that 60 went. OK, so ready for synthetic division? Here's how it works. Now, because we're doing backwards division, we're going to flip things. Instead of doing this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make an L. And it's a two-story L, meaning it has room for two sets of numbers on top of each other. Okay. And what did I say I'm going to divide by? So what's the root if the factor is x minus 5? Positive 5. Positive 5. Please be sure you choose the root for synthetic division. Then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal all the coefficients. I'm going to strip them out. So what are the coefficients? Well, they're 1, 2, minus 23, and minus 60. And the last thing I'm going to do before I get started is make a little box under the last number. That's how you set it up. OK? OK. So. Here's the process. It's very simple. You bring down the first number. So I get 1. Then I multiply that number by that number. What's 1 times 5? Five? 5. 5. What's 2 plus 5? Seven. 7. What's 7 times 5? 35. 35. What's minus 23 plus 35? 12. What's 12 times 5? Positive 60. What's minus 60 times 60? Zero. Zero. Here's your answer. x squared plus 7x plus 12. And you're done. Do I see where I got that? Yeah. 1, 7, 12. Remainder of 0. Done. Question. Negative 23. Oh, 7 times 5 is 35. So you bring it down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, until you get to the end. The last number is always your remainder. You still might get a remainder, right? This is a remainder of 0, meaning we have a factor. This is our answer. Now, some people say, how do I know it's x squared? How do I know it? You start from the end from the right end, and this is your constant, this is your x, this is your x squared. If you had another one, it would be your x to the third. And it's, it's cheating, but it works, so. Yeah? Yes, you have to flip the sign. Remember I said we're dividing by the root? This is a good question. If the factor is x minus 5, the root is 5, OK? All right, so make sure you do your homework. Synthetic division should take you way less time. I, I handed it out while you were 
Oh, no, I didn't.